Well, being a straight ally has opened me up a little bit to some criticism, um, to people who might find it, you know, questioning my masculinity or my sexuality. Um, but none of that bothers me. I, I don't think it's an insult to be gay, so if people want to think I'm gay, have fun. It doesn't affect me at all. Um, when it comes to the rest of our athletes, okay, if you want to question Zdeno Chara's masculinity, he's six foot nine, he's 260 pounds of pure muscle, and his reach is about two and a half feet long. So if you'd like to question his masculinity, please tell me when and where. I will be there, and we'll set this up. Just make sure I'm there, or at least tape it for me. So it's getting to the point now where if you're going to be a straight ally, it's no longer opening you up to those sort of questions. It's no longer, okay, he supports gay rights, so he must be gay. She supports lesbian rights, so she must be a lesbian. It's, it's getting to the point where it's now common. In the National Hockey League, we've had 50 NHL players do PSAs for us already, out of 700 in the National Hockey League, so almost 10%. It's now becoming common. It's not rare. It's not, it's not hey, look at that guy. I can't believe he's doing it. It's, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Like it's becoming a non-story. So when it comes to being criticized for being a straight ally, it's really that that is going by the wayside rapidly.